hey, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> it's just oh, hey. well, we're back. Uh, <laughs> it's a uh, movie club with friends. Uh, sure. Your favorite movie club is me. Yeah, I, I, I'm <laughs> used to, I'm used to, even though we haven't done it in a long time, though, I'm used to, like, just the podcast being different every time. Anyways, this week was The Fifth Element, a movie so good I watched it twice. Uh, it was a Gabe pick. So, Gabe... Wait, wait, did you watch it twice just now, or are you saying... I watched it Tuesday, and then I watched it Sunday night when I went to bed. Really? Yeah. Um, huh. Yeah, I, 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 when I when I go, I'll talk about it more, but Gabe, this was your pick and also the first time you've seen it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what'd you think? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, let me just quickly... I picked it because I had heard a lot about it um, just over the years, and I always got it confused with The Sixth Sense, so I never <laughs> really, because I never, I hadn't seen either of Which them. Which both so. star <laughs> Bruce Willis. <laughs> <laughs> Too many numbers. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I hadn't seen either of them, so they just kind of like, in my head, they're the same thing. Have you seen The Sixth Sense? No, I haven't seen that. Oh still, man, so. that's a banger. You guys see that <laughs> one too. That's a great movie. Um, You've been describing a lot of things as banger lately, Michael. Banger. <laughs> uh, so I just heard a lot about it, and it was sci-fi based. So I was just kind of interested in it, and uh, heard good things from, I mean, a lot of you guys plus uh, Julie. And overall, I'd say I thought it was pretty meh. Oh. Yeah, I thought it was pretty <laughs> meh. Oh. Um, uh, I'll probably give it like a six or a six and a half out of ten. Yikes. And I guess I'll kind of go into some of the things. Um, overall, I don't know. I just I, I should have kind of checked. When was this movie come out? When did this movie come out again? 1997. 1997. Okay. So I don't know. I just felt like the movie had so much going on with it that it, it couldn't keep my attention in one place for a second. And um, generally, I felt like, and I know it's in 1997, but generally I felt some of the, if it was like props or just different elements to the movie were really cheap feeling. Um, I think I think that was all done purposely. It kind of gives it this like, yeah, if it's shitty kind of like a cyberpunk, but also it's a kind of lighthearted movie feel to it yeah yeah like it's supposed to be kind of funny but at the same time it's got a, it doesn't it's got a lot and yeah it doesn't take itself serious and like it any does way. not take itself yeah. seriously it's yeah, not no, like exactly. a typical yeah. one and I, I i get that it's just i felt like they went half seas on that <laughs> in my yeah. opinion like i don't know i wanted them to go full one direction or at least a little bit more in that direction um and it kind of i guess didn't do it for me in that sense uh Let's see what else do I got. Uh, um, your comment on like it being all over the place and not really holding your attention, I can understand that. That guy, the director, did that other movie that recently came out. I can't think of the name of it, but it was about the Valerian. Yeah, yeah Valerian. and I, I didn't see it, but I, from what I've saw, it looked it's very. So bad. It looks very Fifth Elementary, and like it's just like. They're here and they're doing this and then now they're doing yeah. this and they're getting shot. I thought that was supposed to be like the most amazing movie since like Avatar or whatever. And I and I looked at the previews and I was like, this looks like garbage. Like, okay. yeah. yeah, and that's yeah, just his no, kind of Jill, style. Jill and I saw that and yeah, that one was all over the place. My biggest complaint though is the two actors suck together. But there were some cool elements to it. The uh, visual the visual effects, effects were, were really, really good, and there was yeah. one really cool scene um, like. in it. Did you, did you see it, Johnny? Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, good? I'm sure. I, I think if I was like a like a very visual person, I would have loved Larry Johnny, oh, yeah, yeah. No, Johnny's in his in his severely in t-shirt, and he's got like a poster <laughs> behind him. <laughs> but dude, the, the two main actors have no chemistry, man. That 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 ruined the whole movie for me. Anyway, that's a different movie. <laughs> um, and I guess this might be a controversial opinion, but I don't have much to back it. I'm just gonna throw it out there, though. Anyway. 
Sorry for that, oh, viewers. That was terrifying. Those really loud terrifying. viewers. I really apologize. <laughs> was and I haven't seen too many of his films because I think a lot of his films came in the eighties and nineties. But I don't think I'm the biggest Bruce Willis fan. Oh. Just, what? Just, <laughs> oh. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. He he's fine, but he doesn't like wow me like a lot of other actors. Okay. Do. Okay. 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 You have, which um, diehards have you seen? None of them. <laughs> That's why I was wondering. Yeah, and you see haven't seen die. You, okay. You haven't seen any diehards. You haven't seen the Sixth Sense. You need to see more Bruce Willis, dude. Bruce yeah, Willis I don't is. Think you have seen Bruce, Willis. Bruce Willis is amazing. <laughs> what other movie has he been in? I feel like I've seen some. lots of them. Anyway, I don't really like this guy that I've never seen. <laughs> no, I've, I've seen him in a couple. Of He's. Ones. I mean, you haven't seen Pulp Fiction either, so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, he yeah, is in Pulp movie. Fiction. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, all these movies I was gonna pick. <laughs> yeah, essentially, I don't think you've seen many of like Bruce Willis in the '90s. If I, I feel like, I feel like every time I see Bruce Willis, it's at your family's house and it's some fucking cop show or cop movie. <laughs> so maybe one of the diehards. Why? Why are you saying that with so much? <laughs> because Pete loves his fucking uh, um, shooters, like from yes. the '90s, and we're always mm-hmm. watching those. So it's funny, the, the thing that I remember uh, Bruce Wilson the most was, I don't know if anyone watched this movie, but look who's talking from the... Oh eight, like, my. <laughs> I babies? love that. Yeah, it's for babies. I love that movie when I was a kid. I was like, babies are talking. <laughs> <laughs> and then, the, and then the, I love the sequel more than the first one because in the sequel the doggies are talking. So too. terrible. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> no, Gabe, we we need to we need to get you to see some more Bruce. Six Sense, you need to see that. You need to see Die Hard. He's, he's he's he's. I think his acting is he's like a man's man, right? Like he's a tough guy. And I, I think of all of and like I, I'm, not, I'm not I'm not into that as much. Of all of those actors, he has the most range. He's he's better than Arnold. He's better than um. Stallone. I think he's better oh. than Tom Cruise. Oh. You seen you liked um that one movie, that movie that's gonna get the the the, the tree not the no not the tree cool. God, can I speak English? Unbreakable, Unbreakable. Oh yeah, he's in Unbreakable. Oh yeah, he's in that. It was it was fine. You need to see Six Sense. You <laughs> see you need to see <laughs> Die Hard one to four. I like the sequel to uh, that one more. I forgot what it's called already. The new movie came out. You need to see more. Anyways, we're talking about the fifth yeah. element. Yes, we're talking about the fifth element. Glass. Glass. Wait, no, the one before that. Split. 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 Yes, I like Split a lot. But the main the main actor in that one is amazing. Um, so, other than that, I'll say that Chris Tucker did a lot for me in the movie. Yes. Okay. Dude, okay. <laughs> if you didn't like Chris Tucker, I was really gonna be mad. But yes, Chris no, Tucker Chris is Tucker the best character. Great. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I wish our TV our TV actually doesn't go up in volume to a huge degree. So like, I wish I could understand everything he was fucking saying during that. Yeah. Movie. Dude, I turned I subtitles I on. Yeah. Every, you know, it makes it better. It makes it better. Just so, yeah. Just so you know, everything that he was saying had to do with sex in some way. Like. Yeah. No. The the, the this week. He's so funny. When I watched it this week, I had subtitles on both times, and I was like, I finally understood what Chris Tucker was saying. <laughs> I like it both ways, though. Like, when he's just... All he's doing is, like, screaming. I'm like, this guy <laughs> yes. is so funny. Like, right? <laughs> he's just... He's hilarious. And, and what is it? He's always like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> he said, oh, my God. The whole time. Uh, oh, my God. Come in. Oh, my God. Come in. <laughs> come in. <laughs> yeah. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> he's like... He's if like... Dumb. Have, <laughs> if I would have... If I would have known that I was getting a match, I would have said, quit smoking, but I quit smoking. I don't have <laughs> Yeah, I know. He's like screaming his name while he's like fighting these pigs and he's like dodging explosion. He's like, oh God! <laughs> <laughs> like, I even love the part where he's just like, I think he's trying to tell me something. Oh, I think <laughs> Like, I love everything about it. No, literally, those, so... the, the, those parts of the movies were what I was really enjoying. Yeah. The Chris Tucker parts. Yeah. They were great. Oh, man. Um, and uh, one last point I want to make is what the fuck up was with 
Bruce Willis like going in and kiss her when she was just laying there sleeping <laughs> after he fucking it just a, like it was a different time. He, well, it, it was what a different. The hell it was, was a, that? It, it was it was a different time. But even in the movie, he's like, "Oh, I fucked up. I shouldn't have done that." <laughs> he's he's yeah, kind I'm of so like fun. he's he you know his wife just left him. He was in the yeah. army. He's like this weird. Anti-social, <laughs> this weird sexual predator. Yeah. No, he's not a sexual <laughs> predator. He's just awkward. He's I just mean, awkward. He, he just told Lilu that he loved her after spending forty le- less than forty-eight hours because she spent yeah. one whole day with the priest. Yeah, you that, know? Was all, <laughs> that was all really awkward and forced. And I was like, whatever. Chris mm-hmm. Tucker did it. So anyway, I that's, that's I, what I'll right. say about Luke Bess. Beeson, Besson, I don't know how to say his name. I should really look it up before movie club. But I don't think he can write love stories, man. <laughs> I don't like. I love the Fifth Element, but yeah, like, there isn't I, much. To but I think of I like schools can act them either. Yeah, so, I guess that's true. Uh, but but I'm also I'm I'm talking because my my experience with his uh, movies are like you know the Valerian one, which the love story in that one is just awful. Um, but like he also he's just like a very action guy. Like he makes the transporter movies. He makes the Taken movies. You know what I mean? Like he's just oh, like I, okay, yeah. I think he, yeah. I think every time he tries to go for like romance, from what I've seen. Granted, I haven't seen every single movie that he's done. Um, it's just I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's. I don't. I think. I don't think that's his his forte. I think yeah. he should try to stay away from it. He's definitely. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know he did transport and Taken. So yeah, he is for sure just action, and he does it well. Those yeah, he does it really well. Movies. Um, so that's all. That's all I got, really. Okay. Uh, so you, what you said, six out of ten. Uh, I'll do six and a half. Six and a half. I, I, remembering Chris Tucker more made me happy. So. There you go. <laughs> I'm with you guys. Uh, <laughs> so for me, uh, I give this movie a ten out of ten. I love it. Um, oh my god. god! I wouldn't put it in my top what? five, but it's definitely you my fucking. You can't. No, but let me finish. You can't give it a ten out of ten and not put it. Your but it would definitely be in my top ten. Yeah, there you go. That's that. Then you can put it there. You can definitely give it a ten out of ten if it's in your top ten. It's like, like if all the ten. ten means this is literally the best movie ever. Yeah. How does that? I feel like we don't need to that? take that as strictly as. Okay, yeah, so is... for, for for me for That's me so personally, I... for you guys and the true. viewers at home, nines are movies that I've seen for the first time in movie club, and I really love them. And maybe they will become one of my ten out of ten movies. Ten out of tens uh, are movies that I know I love, and yep. when rewatching them, I still love them the same. Mm-hmm. I think that's that's how I feel about ten out of ten. Uh, this is probably like probably like I don't know the twentieth time I've seen the Fifth Element. I love it. Like it's comedy, it's action, it's cyberpunk, which I love. Uh, every character, every actor in it is really well good. I love how the the ongoing except joke... for the president. I will argue the president, yeah, the president. was not good. <laughs> he doesn't really have a role. No, but he, even his but small role. <laughs> I remember. I remember that being a thing. That it was like, oh, they have a black president in this future movie. <laughs> like when that movie first came out, it was like a big deal. And it, like now, when looking back, first came out. You were seven. Why do you remember that? I don't. Know. <laughs> I just I, I remember I people talking about it or whatever, or like even this just is... seeing it on TBS. I think, yeah. like, my mom or someone. Yeah, everyone was talking yeah. about it. Yeah. This was, like, my mom's favorite movie. Like, it's still one of her favorite movies. So I, I saw this movie so much as a kid. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Chris Tucker. He's good in every movie he's ever been in. He gets a lot of hate, but, like, he's fantastic. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't really have much more to say. I just, like, think it's a it's a movie I could watch always. I could always put it on background noise or just to fall asleep to. It's just great. It's mm-hmm. just a great fucking movie. So, yeah. I think it's just so lighthearted. I'm just going to go swing into mine. What, what do you? Oh, yeah, you gave it a 10 out of 10. Yeah. Oh, I don't know why I forgot that. We just had a long discussion about it. Um, I'm going to swing into my third spot, but yeah, I think it's so different compared to like most, um, 
Honestly, like, Jared, I'm kind of going to relate it to a little bit of Galaxy Quest, even though that sounds kind of dumb, but, like, because obviously that's a parody. But, like, most sci-fi movies are so serious and dark and filmed so dark. You know, like, they, like, the actual filming is very dark. Like, there's every, it's always musty and, um, you know, like, you don't really see daylight ever. Like, it's just very dark yeah and, blade, and like like so like something like blade, like blade runner, runner. Yes. there's no there's no scene that takes place during the day and when it is day it's still dark uh yes. i think this movie took a lot from blade runner and i think the, comparing it to galaxy quest is perfectly reasonable because in a way the fifth element is a satire it is a satire yeah. on like the cyberpunk genre mm-hmm well, and that's one of the things that I think that Luke did. I think that what's really cool about this movie is that Luke started writing it when he was, like, 13 years old or something. 13 or 16, I don't remember the age now. But, like, he was, like, a young teenager when he started writing this film. And I'm like, how f- freaking... Like, and he literally says that he would write this film because he wanted somewhere that was lighthearted and fun to escape to from his everyday life. Like he wanted an escape place and i think that's so cool like i think he really did a good job of just making like a fun kind of like cheesy but i don't know like interesting place to to look back at like i just love like so many random details of the movie like even like the like the asian like boat scene where they're like you know like he's he's getting food i don't know why like that's a scene in the movie that i loved so much when i was a kid like he's ordering food and there's this guy on a boat that's flying in space and he's eating asian food (laughs) it's just like i don't know why like i just i I love that and um i just love like all the the details in the the film i already talked about how much i love ruby road like he he's someone i when i was a kid i did not it d- did not respect as much just because i didn't understand his jokes like to me i still loved his part because he was like screaming and he was funny yeah but i did i definitely did not understand these Dude, jokes I, I, when, when i was a kid and i don't know why i thought this but i thought he was gay but then i was like yeah. re-watching it this week and i'm like why did <laughs> oh. i used to think he was gay he's like the straightest <laughs> man ever he's fucked like yeah. three chicks already <laughs> yeah yeah no he's like he's, he's like in the middle of the plane you know like you know eating and that's all i'm gonna say on this podcast um yeah. and, and he's just like i love you you're so different you're different from everybody else yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so funny because yeah when you're a kid you don't know what the fuck he's talking about but he's like no. lying out of his fucking teeth man <laughs> no and i like uh, that's so funny like thinking as like a parent for my mom like she definitely didn't hide those scenes i just legitimately had no concept of what was going on yeah <laughs> and um yeah all this like i i'll be honest like the part where chris tucker comes on and makes the movie for me like he it just definitely does such a it's the more entertaining half. Yeah. Um, one of the things that I l- uh, looked into in terms of trivia that I wanted to tell you all about. Um, did you know that Zorg, Gary Oldman, and Bruce Willis, Corbin, never actually meet in the film? Damn it, I wanted to talk about that. Well, you were late. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, yeah, they don't. Only, yeah, they never <laughs> actually see each other the entire movie. Bruce Wilson isn't yeah, even aware of his existence. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't even know that he's, yeah. That's so, that's actually really interesting because it's, like, the main they villain. Bugged me and the main, it. and the main hero don't ever meet. Yeah. How did it bug you? I don't think I noticed until I read it. Like... <laughs> I don't know. I, I noticed it the first time I watched it, though, I remember. And I was, I was just, I thought, I thought when the movie, I, I didn't think the movie was going to end. You know, like how it did because uh, they never met. So I was, I kept thinking like they're gonna meet, you know, like a showdown or whatever, and say something. I was like, the movie has to keep going until they see each other. Yeah, it's actually kind of unexpected when Gary Oldman's character dies. Like it's kind of funny. Like it's 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 comic. Like he's just it is you know, comical. He, it's just yeah. He he like gracefully puts the card to stop the. <laughs> <laughs> stop the bomb and then he gets screwed over i just think i don't know why it was hilarious and i was just like oh he's not coming back from the dead from this. Jeff, jeff you just need that hollywood fucking ending man like <laughs> this is that's actually really interesting that it's just it, it went out of the, the it went out of the norm i like when yeah, people like, do fan or different things in movies garrett 
I'm just saying, no, you just always accuse people of enjoying Hollywood yep. style like you did last week with yeah, Julie. Yeah, you're brainwashed into thinking, <laughs> into following the norms. <laughs> Your minds have not been awakened yet. <laughs> God. Okay, Michael. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, I think it's cool. And it's just a good movie. I think it's neat that they made a whole language. I'm always a big fan of that. I think I give Avatar a lot more credit. I know a lot of people shit on the actual like story of Avatar. But the thing that I love the most about that movie is that they created a language. Um, and I think it's cool that they created a language in this movie. And that's one of... I don't know. Like, I don't know why I like... I mean, that's one of the reasons why I love Lord of the Rings so much. Like, Lord of the Rings, by far, like, favorite movies of all time... And I think I remember as a kid being like, he made a language, and I just like valued that so much. He made so, a lot of languages. Yeah, a lot. Like, I'm so impressive. Granted, like he was a linguist, but um, I don't know. That's why I think it's cool when like regular people make languages. So it's so just a good movie. Um, I probably get it at, at nine and loved. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Wow. All right. Uh. Well, Jeff, you've been talking a lot, so why don't you talk some more? <laughs> well, I am going to give this movie a mm. 6 out of 10. Mm. Uh, oh, wow. Mm. Oh, wow. And, uh... Oh, like, wow. <laughs> um, I... First off, i got to preface this so that I, I have a bias against Western and sci-fi movies. Um, Which is, like, I hate, my I hate the blue, the blue girl. She, things. Yeah, I, the blue girl. I just makes me like. Get, I don't know. Like a lot of parts of the movie, I'm just like. Eh, eh. I, don't, what? I don't know. I just. What's I just don't. The blue girl. She she's looks beautiful. weird and gross and slimy. She's an alien. <laughs> you know, no, no, I, 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 it bugs me. no, no. But okay, I know. <laughs> I, I, Jeff, I think, I think that, honestly, I think that's fair, and I think that's probably what they were going for to have like uneasy feelings. I know, like, like. Well, okay, actually, we'll that's true. Then maybe that's not. true because whenever she meets like the crew and he's just like introducing himself to her, he's like tall, blue, tall, blue. You know, like yeah. he's just like freaking out. So yes, that's true. Yeah. And like, I don't know, like the pigs are supposed to be gross, and like those little chicken guys, they're they're just supposed to be like weird and like mysterious and. I, I don't know why, but you made me think of Matilda, and I've never liked that movie because like when I was a kid. <laughs> It made me like sick to my stomach watching it. That movie and Edward Scissorhands. Oh yeah, Edward Scissorhands. Oh god, I do not like. They're, they they just grossed me out. So I, I, I haven't I that. haven't seen Ed, Edward Scissors Edward Scissors. I got it. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Hold on. Keep trying. I haven't I haven't seen Scissorhand since I was a kid, and um, I remember I hated that movie. It's it's kind of like Braveheart for me though. Like I'm, something happens in that movie that I hate, and I have Braveheart. In, I have internally repressed. Yeah, no, I I know Braveheart's a decent <laughs> movie now, but if you remember yeah, why yeah, I chose right. Braveheart, it's because I hated it as a kid. So <laughs> I don't know. I need to revisit Edward Scissorhand. I remember I was oh, eating. I was I eating like... spaghetti, and I actually had to go to the bathroom and puke the first time I saw it. Really? Yeah. Gross. It wasn't that bad for me. Um, you guys are I didn't, exaggerating. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't like the uh, a lot of the dialogue. Um, I I hate the quote uh, negative. I'm a meat popsicle. Like I, I don't know why it just irks me. I just when did I really you say that? Don't like that quote. I don't like how he says it. Human. Yeah, and I'll. When the cops are at his door. Uh, you don't like it because it was... It's kind of like one of those iconic, meme like, movie quotes that you've probably heard 10 million times before. Probably. Yeah. That's probably why I don't like it. Uh, it's funny. I, I feel like I haven't heard that much. Maybe I've heard it and I just never thought about it. So whenever I heard it in the movie, I was like, oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. I, I liked... Uh, I liked... Uh, <laughs> what the fuck was his name? Uh, it's not Chris Rock. Chris Tucker. Tucker. Chris Tucker. Yeah, <laughs> I liked him. I liked uh, uh, Lulu's character. That oh. she was funny. I meant to talk about Lulu. Um. Yeah, I just don't really like sci-fi movies. <laughs> I'm not a fan. 
But this is a cyberpunk movie, Jeff. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Karen, Karen to him, Jared. It's, it's cyberpunk. cyberpunk at all. No, it's a, it's a, it's. Jared, this is Jared. Not cyberpunk. it's cyberpunk. <laughs> cyberpunk is more like robots and internety and android and shit like that. Yeah, but the Are city, gonna... the city and the cars and everything. That's just the... straight up this sci-fi. Is, this is like yeah, grungy it's future. Fucking sci-fi. This is more about aliens and shit. Grungy, you don't grungy see aliens and cyberpunk. My grungy future is the literal definition of cyberpunk. Not. Yeah. No. Yes. <laughs> Not things like Blade Runner, Snatcher. That's cyberpunk, grungy, grungy future. This was not it's cyberpunk. Cringy. Not at all. It's not. <laughs> not but it's not cyberpunk because it's grungy future. Okay. Okay. Cyberpunk. Okay. Let's. Do I kind of. I kind of. I kind of agree with Michael. No. Well, you're wrong too, then. How? <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't think it is cyberpunk. <laughs> Let's go to Google. Uh, so I you wanted know, I, like Google on this. quickly. I wanted to talk about Lilu. I love the, I love the ongoing joke of her being like perfect, and like every guy gets to see her naked in the movie, and they're all just like, <laughs> they're just like, oh, oh, she's perfect. And like I don't know. I just think it's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, Fifth Element, 1997, Cyberpunk Reddit, Cyberpunk uh, Revisited, The Fifth Element. List this is sounding like list, uh, you're looking for results. List this is of, a confirmation bias list, I'm hearing right list, now. List of Cyberpunk's works. Did you Google <laughs> Cyber Fifth Element reading. Cyberpunk? Oh, Cyberpunk. Computers, oh. Information Technology, and Virtual Reality. Not Cyberpunk. None of that was in that movie. So like cyberpunk is androids and internet and technology. This movie was alien and more aliens. Yeah, well, Wikipedia says it's a cyberpunk, so um, Wikipedia is wrong too. Then. Yeah. I kind of, I, I think I, the, I think this is an argument on definition. So uh, based on the definition I just looked up, it sounds like this is a cyberpunk movie. So I think that there's an issue. Alright, then I fucking hate cyberpunk movies too. Okay, there. <laughs> That's all you had to do, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, like, def definitions of words can be debated. Um, what was I going to say? So, one of the reasons why Luke chose um, Mila Yakovovich. Mia Khalifa? Mila, no, the name of the of Lilu. <laughs> Is that not fair? I know. Mila. No, Jovo I, is... Jovovich. There you go. Yeah. And Mike's trolling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, is because he thought that her ethnicity was somewhat. Uh, what is it called? Like, you, you. She could be Egyptian. She could be some sort of other. You know, weird ethnic. You know, not weird, but like some weird ethnicity from space. Like he just thought that she looked. Just very different from your norm, and I, I do think that that's cool. Hey, you look weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she did a really great job. So. She did. All right. Uh, do you have anything Plus, else to uh, say, really Jeff? Quick, a quick aside on that is, I think uh, she's definitely Mike's body's type, which also helps him like this movie more. I think. <laughs> ah, yeah. I don't like the. Sh I don't like her hair in the movie, but. I, I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> well, Do you I, ever? She's not gonna say yes. <laughs> Jared, I don't. Jared, I don't like you today, Jared. <laughs> Jared, oh you, my God, Jared, you don't get to talk. No, Jared, uh, tell us about the movie, Jared. <laughs> no, no, um, I give it a seven out of ten. I like it. Um. I don't know, I mean, we've already talked a little bit about what's going on. I still really like the fact that it really it has good world building. It doesn't tell you about the world building, it just shows you. You kind of have yes. to infer, like, what's going on and how this world works and everything like that. Um, That's a very good point, actually. Yeah, it it shows, don't tell. Again, the love story was pretty crap. If the fifth element was love, then that planet was doomed because <laughs> there was none of it in that movie. <laughs> um, I mean, overall, it, it, it's really solid. Bruce Willis is a 
pretty good actor. Uh, Don't tell yeah. that to Gabe. He disagrees with you. <laughs> Gabe doesn't have enough information <laughs> to make that decision. He's not though. my kind of guy, generally. I, I understand that already. I, I get it. He's a good actor. I just I do like it's a comedy sci-fi movie with cyberpunk influence in there. If that'll make you guys. Oh. Okay. Okay. There was some information technology, I suppose, in there. And it was some prettiness. But, um, yeah, overall, it's just a really solid movie. I enjoy it. It's not my favorite. It's Some parts just fall flat for me. But overall, um, uh, it's a really good movie. 7 out of 10. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing about Gary Oldman. Apparently, so everyone on this, the movie enjoyed, like, loved filming it. Like, they had a lot of fun. Um, and everyone likes the movie a lot, except for Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman said he didn't like the movie after he watched it. Um, and But one of the things I thought was hilarious is that his inspiration for Zorg was a mix between, um, uh, you know, uh, Bugs Bunny and Ross Perot, who used to be the president here. Ross. Yeah. <laughs> Ross. I could... He was the president of Canada, wasn't he? No, he was like a presidential nominee. He was never a president. <laughs> presidential yeah, he's a, candidate. He's a, he's a candidate, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could see that. He's very uh, Bugs Bunny-ish. Yeah, I just think it's hilarious. <laughs> so random. <laughs> uh, so, Garrett. Mm. Um, I, I, I liked it. I would give it a, a 6 out of 10 like. Have you seen it before? Or you like Gabe? No, this is the first time. Okay. Um. What else? What else is there to say about this? Um, I liked. Well, I I found their outfits really awkward and weird. How like Bruce's shirt was just open on the back. It's future. Oh, I loved, it's future I loved clothing. His tank top. Man. I loved his tank top. <laughs> I mean, like yeah. No, it's just I don't understand it. I don't. You're not supposed to. I guess you're right. Um, I'll agree with you. Do you, you. understand I fashion like the, today? Uh, <laughs> I, I like the Chinese or the the Asian food vendor that was just on his little hover boat. I thought that was really cool. Um, and then whenever he uh, shoved those three people in his fridge, <laughs> did he kill them? Are they no. dead? No, 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 no. They came back. I, I was, I was concerned. I was like, did he just kill those guys? No, you see, you <laughs> say the general later. Yeah, I know. You see him later, but he's like, he looks dead. <laughs> he, he looks very he dead. Looks he already looks half dead. The first one, and then, is but then he definitely dead. And then he, the general lives. <laughs> he closes the door again. Yeah. He should have just left it open. I don't know how they get out of there eventually. But. <laughs> it's not sci-fi. I, I'm just saying they so, brought Lilu back with her, just her arm. Like, I just, the movie's I think a little was... bit slapstick, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and like, are all of those aliens, the bird alien, uh, the ones with like the original protectors of the fifth element, are they all like humanoid looking? I don't know. You don't know. Do you know? Like, it know. bothered me so much whenever they created Lilu from that thing's DNA and it looked human. Because... I have to think that they were kind of human because she was, and she was also wearing one of those things. So, But like, why do they wear those outfits? Yeah. They're just so clunky and slow. Uh, well, they were aware of humans, so maybe they made this fifth element uh, based on humans, right? Yeah. Yes. Also, why was the the weapon against evil on Earth? They were hiding it there. Oh, okay, because it was a yeah. it was it's like a shitty underdeveloped planet. <laughs> Backwater. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that makes sense. Fuck Earth. Um. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't have anything else. I just had those couple questions that kind of bothered me. Throughout the movie, especially the Lulu one, doesn't make sense still to me. Whatever. You guys need to take. You guys need to just watch movies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that. that's. The, the, I I appreciate the the criticism. I do, but at the same time, it is like, it's just a movie. Like, like this guy uh, started making uh, this movie. Like, like again, like <laughs> again, like the the problem with 
uh, one of your complaints about Looper, Garrett, with the, well, if they just sent them to the ocean, you know, you know, yeah, why don't they don't do that? Well, then there wouldn't be a movie, right? You have to let that go because that's what makes the story. Sir, sure, sure, it makes yeah, send them send them movies. send them back to like into a volcano in in the prehistoric times, right? You could do that, I guess, but then that's there's no story in that. I feel like it's lazy, and they could they could have a ride around. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I completely agree. Right, right around, right around, sending them into a volcano. You're gonna make. You're yeah, gonna like, base a story have, about that. They like, say, fucking say, you can't just, say like whenever you transfer, like talking about Looper here. My, whenever you transport someone back, you can't displace a certain amount of mass. That way, you know, you can't throw them into the middle of the ocean. Or my biggest argument with you guys reading too much into it, to be honest, is that there's so much. There's so much lack of uniqueness when it comes to movies, like, forever. And especially now. Like, I think that's our problem. Like, we keep making sequels or redoing movies or using storylines that are exactly the same as other ones. Um, and so, to me, like, when you have a film that is very different from other ones, like, even if it has massive holes, like, cause that's what I'm going to give the credit for Looper and The Fifth Element. For, like, a lot of the, I mean, a great, we choose a lot of good movies on Movie Club. Um, is that they are very unique and there's nothing there's not you can't compare it to a lot of things you know, in my opinion so i don't know that's For, like I feel, I feel like that's an unfortunate part of reading too much into it i feel like the, the main reason why i disagree with with your guys's points is because uh, you're essentially telling us to watch the movie in a different way than we would normally do and to and to do that is to you know be untruthful to ourselves i like, we the, the things we pick up on are the things that we normally pick up on because that's just how we watch movies and that's how we enjoy movies. Yes. Movies that don't have these issues, we enjoy more. But movies that do have these issues, they're issues because we we we, we see them as issues yeah. and that bugs us. I, 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 I think I, I'm, not, I'm not telling you to ignore them. I'm just telling them... Like, I'm, and it's more like, I don't know, forgiving it more. No, it, like, exactly. I, I, I understand that... Ex Exactly. Like I understand that, Jeff, and I appreciate it, and it does cause for more conversation, which makes like a better conversation and show. But the the movie should not be worse in your eyes because it's like, well, why don't they bubbles? just why don't they just send him there? Like again with Looper, because I think Looper is a great movie because it's not about the time travel; it's about having this situation. Where the guy can have this fucking adventure going against his future self. That's what the movie's about. Yes, there are plenty of other ways that the mafia could get rid of these bodies. But this is how it is, so this situation can be set up. What differentiates a good movie from a great movie is... Um, so a good movie has that good plot that you're talking about, but a great movie has that good plot with all the plot holes filled in around it. Like, take, for example, um, fucking, like, Lord of the Rings or something. If they, like, instead of making a language or whatever, he just said that they, like, fucking just spoke to each other or something. Like, you know, the amount of detail he put into it really filled in a lot of, a lot of holes. It, it filled in but... the world. It, Again, with the Lord of the Rings, it's all why don't they take the eagles? Well, it's more about the journey than the yeah. than the event yeah. than that. Well, no, there's why don't they they why don't they take the eagles? There is an explanation. For what's that. what's the explanation? But they don't tell you in the movie. Okay, so that makes it a shitty movie then, Garrett. Uh, well, the the eagles don't interfere in the problems of man. They don't tell you that in the movie. But if they don't tell yeah. you that in the movie, then that doesn't but, make it a good... That, that, then those are bad movies. Yeah. Let's pretend that there's no books for Lord of the Rings. That's all I'm trying Is to say. Is there a book for Looper? No, but that's what I mean, though. Like, the, 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 some of these... I don't know. They could be books. You know? We're, just, but we're like, talking about the story behind oh. the movie, right? No, 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 no. But we're, we're, we are talking about the movie. And if you want everything and all no plot holes in movies, well then the eagles should look, be able to fly them to the deep, mountain. When you look that when you look that deep into movies, you have to read all about it, or you have to know all about it, which includes the. If Looper had no, a book, no, 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 they, no, they, no. If Looper had a book and they explained it away in the book, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be you, causing a fuss. No, no, no. You can, no, no. If you are judging a movie on the movie, you don't need to know about the book. 
I'm judging the movie based on its story and yeah. the quality. No, of the no, movie. no, no, no. Because okay, I, if you like, if you, you know, watch if you movies. watch if you watch Jura- <laughs> if you watch <laughs> I, I, like, if you watch Park. Jurassic Park, the Jurassic yes, Park movie is completely different from the book. So you're gonna be the like, oh, the movie is worse, or the movie doesn't make any sense, and blah blah blah. No, they're they're like essentially different stories. Yeah. They the books and movies are completely different entities, and if you're gonna not judge, always though. Yeah, not yeah. I was about to say like, no, nah, some, some, some I completely... decide to move away from the book, and some decide to stick with the book. Yes. And like Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings, for example, stick with the book pretty. Relatively closely. Okay, and but if 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 Jurassic Park doesn't. Okay, then, like, if if they don't if they don't camps. explain the eagles in the Lord of the Rings, you can't give that a pass because they talk about it in the book and be like, the well, looper doesn't make sense. The world is explained through some. But form you're of media, we're talking the about the movie. <laughs> but we're talking about the story. I agree. If, it, it, if it's story? explained in some other way, then that nah. would make sense. Nah. Yeah. The nah. story of Looper is solely the movie. So it, the only reason, it the only gives reason no I explanation don't... for the plot holes. The story yeah. of The Lord of the Rings is also in a book, and it covers the plot also, holes. Jeff, everything you said about Looper, that isn't a plot hole. That's just something that's not explained. That's a, dif- that's a difference. Which, okay, yes, true. exactly. Which, in the movie, he's like, well, explain it to me. And he goes, fuck you. We don't we don't have all day. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it well. tells that's you in the movie that, like, <laughs> you, the, the, this thing that you want to concentrate on, that's not important. Because what's important is the, is the conflict. It's important to me. It's important to me. Well, then, yeah. oh, yeah, I'm like, getting tricked. Like, that's that's, what, <laughs> that's, what, that's what's important is yeah. our opinions. Yeah, like, you, you, you're essentially telling again. Jared and me, ah, oh, fuck your No, 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 again, I think so. Again, again, I appreciate I think, I everyone's think, opinion, just, but again, just, you're kind of giving me a loophole in what's, yeah. a, what's a pass and what's not a pass. You are. So, <laughs> I, you know, I don't know, Jeff. <laughs> how, how? We fucking explained why fucking Lord of the Rings gets a pass, because they explained it in the book. Yeah, there's other forms of media to consume that explain it. Uh, you're you're, oh, you're judging... Well, technically, okay, okay, just to, just to, I'm going to talk about something really fast. So just to, to tell you, like, Luke B- Besson, I don't know how I say his name again, um, he originally wanted to make this a trilogy. Like, he had books written of, yeah, of, of this movie. So I'm just saying, like, he doesn't, he doesn't, doesn't like, matter, they don't exist today. They do, I mean, they exist somewhere out there. I'm sure that, you know, like, when he dies, a random oh, fandom will exist. eventually publish them. I just think it's funny, like, I think we're reading into a lot of something that's like a two hour long movie that he spent, you know, 20 plus years making. I don't know. Like, I, 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 like I said, I respect it, but I just think it's funny. The Looper thing is the funniest to me because, like, it literally says in the movie, like, fuck you, we're not explaining this to you. And yeah. you're, like, mad. That's yeah, and yeah. I think that's lazy writing. <laughs> that's not <laughs> lazy <laughs> writing. How is that not lazy writing? Uh, there's, there's a really complicated thing that's really big and important to our plot, but it's I don't not, have to explain no, it, so it it's, just it fucking works. It's not important it's to the plot. Lazy. Okay, so in... in <laughs> it's, it's, it's not important to It's not important to the plot! Because that's not what the movie's about. It's not about... Okay, Mikey, Mikey, Terminator. Mikey, okay, let's we're talk... No, 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 quickly. Let's talk about Terminator. So Terminator... No, I've never seen Terminator. Uh, not... Okay, so not to get into it, but anyways... Terminator goes through a lot of Terminator. Terminator goes into a like a lot of detail to talk about how time travel works in that movie, but there's no point. It's like why why can't close? You're talking about there's no point. Why why can't why can't point was to make Jeff, me feel satisfied. Jeff, why can't clothing go back in time? Like, to because the because it says in ter- wait, wait, because they say it say? does. Like you don't even need to bring it to Terminator. Jeff, in this movie, The Fifth Element, do you like it? Wait, first of all, did you like it or not? I give it a six. All right. Uh, how did the stones work again? Say again? How did the stones work? Like, why did they create light that Thank you. the darkness away? Thank you. I don't remember. They don't explain <laughs> it. They don't explain <laughs> it. <laughs> They're just magic like stones. The are they magic movie. or are they are they science? <laughs> and then, yeah, thank you. Jared! <clears throat> Jared, you're back in my good books, buddy. <laughs> Me and you forever. Movie even more. 
That's okay. Was. That's okay. It's just, it's just sometimes it's okay to just turn that. And again, Jeff, I love you and I appreciate your brain, but just turn <laughs> off your I'm... brain. Just enjoy the movie. <laughs> I didn't appreciate the stones myself, though. I was like, okay, these dumb little things are going to go. and I don't know. It just felt like you were just going through the motions at that point. Are they magic? Are they science? Who knows? It doesn't matter. Who knows? And, uh... Can I say one thing? Yes. Since you're talking so much about Lord of the Rings, um, every single time I saw the priest, I'm like, Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> Is that him? Yeah. yeah. The old Bilbo. What? I didn't even know. Yeah. Oh, the old Bilbo. Ian uh, the, the reg- OG uh, Bilbo. The one yeah, I, grew yeah, up with I never saw the Hobbit. Martin Short is the new Bilbo, right? Yeah, but I'm talking about the one I grew up wow. with. Wow. Yeah. Who cares there about that? Go. Old, less Martin interesting Short. Bilbo? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I haven't seen The Hobbit, but I hear it's fucking terrible. So. <laughs> you haven't seen it? No. You fucking watch it before you judge. I, I, I heard terrible things, so I was like, okay, I'm not going to... Because honestly, I don't like the Lord of the Rings trilogies. <gasps> I saw all three of them in theaters, and I... I don't just... know how we Johnny, could... Johnny, 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 you need really, to close. That, you need how to do close. you feel about <laughs> they, did, Johnny, they did nothing. Johnny. Siding with, with him now. They, 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 I still, they don't I still do anything agree with for him. me. That, that, they didn't do anything for I... me. Sorry. Because I didn't agree with him, because I don't... I You know what, Michael? I really have to, like, forget you ever said that sentence. So, Johnny... <laughs> Close. <laughs> okay, okay, Jeff. You know Jeff doesn't like Western sci-fi. I don't really like fantasy you stuff. You quit taking this so fucking personal. Jesus I'm, 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 I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm, yeah, no, everything's fine. No, 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 no. There was some real triggering going on here. We gotta, <laughs> you know, calm down a bit. <laughs> no, yeah, everything's oh. fine. I love everyone. I don't like. It's like I don't like these mo- this movie for this reason. Well, that's a dumb reason not to like it. <laughs> so you should like it now. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just. I'm just. It's just a conversation. We're just... It's fine. <laughs> You're right, Mike. My opinion is dumb. I should like it now. <laughs> no, but there's just... There's been movies where you let... Like, okay, the right after we watched Looper, we watched um, Pan's Labyrinth. And, like, you guys, it was okay that it was... Oh, it was like... Was it real or not? I don't know. It's kind of like a plot hole, maybe. But, Whatever, we argued so much about that. But then but then with Looper, it was like, nope! You are just, okay, now it's I'm going to say, you are, so, you are no, so sensitive to your movie. No, 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 I'm just saying, no, 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 Yeah, magic is different than sci-fi. Sci-fi? Magic doesn't really need an explanation. Sci-fi is just magic for boys. Yeah. <laughs> Michael, you're gender triggering me now. <laughs> Sorry, no, I'm just saying, not, like, no, 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 sci fi, no, 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 no. Okay, but sci fi in movies, it's not real. It's the same. Say that? Oh, no. <laughs> it's just the same as, it's just the same as magic in a movie. No. Just because it's sci fi doesn't mean that it's not actual. Is it all actual, real fucking science? No. It's, Until they get down do, to the uh, I do think that most sci-fi should be defined but, yeah. as fantasy. Yeah, yeah it's sci-fi, all fucking fantasy. Yes, thank you. Sci-fi is fucking fantasy. It's all fantasy. If, if they have a machine that makes, like, fucking turns... Yeah, but they display it, but the movie if, presents it as not fantasy. So when they present it as not fantasy, then it has to have some logical sense to it. It's all fantasy because it's a movie. It, that, that doesn't matter. The movie itself, in, in the they, movie, it presents a, itself as real and they, logic. If, if, they and had, magic. if they had a machine that turned water into human shit, it would just be like, oh, it, like, it's real. It, it's, it's sci-fi, so, like, it makes sense, because it's a machine. Like, no, it's, 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 it's it fantasy. Why fiction and non-fiction? You think, exactly. Yeah. No, but it's for boys. <laughs> Julie, that's a, that's an old it's an old Fuck you. Julie, it's an old saying, okay? It's twenty eighteen. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm an old man, everyone. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just an old saying. Johnny, can you close now? <laughs> uh I did want to bring up one thing about this. Uh so you guys are all getting butt hurt about like if things are real or not in these movies, but like we're trying to when we watch these movies, we're 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 watching it with like, I don't know, we're we're trying to like go deeper into the movies. Magnifying we're not. Glass. 
Yeah, like, I don't know, I I haven't been watching these movies just to, like, sit down and enjoy and have a laugh and all that kind that's of stuff. I, it's mm-hmm. I feel like I've been studying them a little bit more, so that's probably why you guys are trying to find those plot holes, like Looper. Like, I, Jeff, you probably would have caught on to that kind of stuff and, like, asked those questions, but I don't think you would have had such a hard time with, like, agreeing with it if... if you know, Mike wasn't so adamant about his side. Not. That's, that's <laughs> true. Listen, I, I, I'm... I, I look at I look at movie club movies like a lot more in deeply than I do like other movies. I, I yes, I go into movie club. Like I, I will admit, like I liked Looper less when I was critiquing it. When I was watching it for movie club, I was like, okay, I'm not. I'm just. It's just a conversation. Guys, mm-hmm. like, I'm just stirring the pot, all right? Is there everyone's okay? Is everyone fine? <laughs> <laughs> if, you stirred anything, too much in my pot. If just... anything, Movie Club has made me, like, like these movies less than I probably would have if I just watched them by myself. Yeah. Or, like, watched oh. them without that kind of stuff. Because I, I, I'm overthinking plot lines. I'm, I'm looking into things that don't need to be looked into, that are pointless for plot. Just, like stupid things like that but then i guess they do get out a little bit more than maybe would have just what i might have just gotten if i was just like blindly watching it you know like there's give and take to it but anyway um about this movie the fifth element i i'll give it a seven out of ten and i uh, liked um it was it was hilarious um i got i don't know let's see my stepdad would watch this movie like during Christmas time whenever I'd come home and like I would never actually like sit down and watch the full movie with him I'd just come in with like bits and pieces of it so it was finally nice to see the entire thing start to end um Chris Tucker by far my favorite person in that yes um, it's interesting to me that everyone likes Chris Tucker because all I ever hear on the internet or whatever is that he's like the worst part of the movie like, I don't understand how. Yeah, a lot of people hate uh, him. Maybe, maybe because it is it is like so different than the rest of the movie, in some ways. Like, I don't I don't know. I, I, I could kind of see people hating that, but if anything, it was a refresher for me. <laughs> yeah, in some ways. Yeah. Part that I thought was the most ridiculous <laughs> was whenever the blue girls started like rapping or like doing like a weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah Gabe, know, Gabe actually so laughed at that. Yeah. Yeah, it was like opera turned into like hip hop or something like well, that. Future know. Johnny, yeah, look forward to it. Future opera. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> future look forward to it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I just started laughing. I was like, this is ridiculous. Also, like the cars in it, and I know this was made in like what 1997. You said, like, oh my god, the the special effects, man. Holy cow. Yeah, they didn't yeah. age too well. Uh, they never do, really. Which which uh, which parts were? Sure Evil Dead is aged fantastically. Okay. <laughs> well, Evil Makeup. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't well, Evil Dead? Did it have? I've never seen Evil makeup. Dead. Makeup. It's just makeup. Whoa, like, whoa, yeah, it's no, just no, all no, practical very effects. Very first right? Evil Dead used claymation. Are you kidding? Yeah. Okay. That's and that claymation looks That's still amazing. different than digital. Like, I'm, I'm, it's still like physical. We're items. talking yeah. about old time props and animation and whatnot, aren't we? Pro- practical effects are always saying, looking good. Where, like, if you watch Jumanji now, it looks terrible. Yeah, but like the first Jurassic Park, they did because I think they. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I get. I give more credit to physical things. Like, that's why like the first Jurassic Park, in my opinion, has better graphics than. Lost World or Jurassic yes. Park Three. Like, oh yeah, uh, Jurassic Park One was mostly physical props, and when it yeah. was special effects, it was very brief. Uh, where two and three, it's just, I don't think any of it was practical effects. I all love. Right. I, I could like listen to Ruby Rhodes quotes like all day. Like <laughs> like when the part where he's introducing everyone that's in the opera house, and he's like, "There's the emperor, emperor and his lovely daughter." I love to sing. She recently confessed to me. Yeah. By the way, I have a recording of her talented voice, and it's her moaning. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like Jesus. <laughs> oh, and the part like right after that, whenever like it, everything's exploding and like he's fighting the the aliens and he's hiding behind the the 
casino thing and like, like give me the gun give me the gun and like that's so funny but i also love that when he's when he's holding the gun he's like corbin this ain't me this ain't me man and he actually shoots the guy in the head he's like oh my god i'm sorry is it gonna be okay This isn't me. <laughs> well, I just love when he shoots him. Yeah. He's like, it's gonna be alright. <laughs> 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 oh, so funny. Yeah, he's the best character. <laughs> <sighs> Anything more to say, Johnny? <laughs> uh, no, I think the only thing that I had some uh, backlash on was just the fact that it was like Egypt was the the location that they decided to choose for like their what are you racist thing. what it should have been america it's because that was where civilization was five thousand years ago that's what i thought huh i don't know though because i mean there was chinese civilization and too, but they were probably less the way i could advanced the way they I had less pyramids to hide things too they had egypt had <laughs> like egypt had like Ra as their god and they're like bird aliens so I guess that's true. Yeah. Yeah. I just was like, oh, wow, the pyramids. Her, da, da. Okay, I get it. <laughs> There's so many the different movies around that. Well, it's yeah. also the fact that it took place in like the 30s or 40s or whatever. So the like, what's where... Really? Well, yeah, 19, the start... 19, I guess so. Yeah, you know, it was the first World, World War then. He asked the guy if he was German, so I assumed it was World War Two, like all the Indian Jones movies. Uh... But yeah. Oh. Uh, so yeah, just that's where people were exploring and digging up mummies back then, so that's where they would find things. Mm. I don't know. That's my thoughts. That's, that's true. Okay. That helped. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Alright. Uh, okay, so who's Jeff? Do you have a movie? Oh. Uh... For next week. Uh, <laughs> okay. Are we skipping you, Jeff, and letting your cousin go, or are you ready for that, John? I can, yeah. All right, that's the sorry, John. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who has seen Into the Wild? Me, not me. I don't. No. Might have. It's a good pick, John. Like I've that. never seen it. Oh, that's seven. A good pick. No so one, one of you. No one looking up. The wild. I just want to see the uh, the poster. Yeah, no, I haven't. I have seen not. This. I haven't seen that. It has the guy that used to be in every movie. I remember him from The Girl Next Door. <laughs> the most. Okay. Uh, the Aquatic Life with Steve Zizu. No, I have not seen that one either. Also a good movie. I've You've seen it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then. The fundamentals of caring. Oh yeah. The fundamentals. I know a couple Fucking people yeah. that need to watch that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one too. <laughs> They're good movies. <laughs> I've seen every movie known to men. So. The fundamentals of caring. I didn't watch purposely because it felt like I, I was gonna cry. <laughs> I didn't want. To. Well, you better get ready for that. <laughs> <You> better get <laughs> ready. For that. Uh, the aquatic life of whatever. That's I've like the the Bill it's Murray the based on a true story thing. Not based on true story. I thought it. I thought it was, but it's the Bill Murray movie, right? It's Bill Murray, and it, but that's not. I thought it was a true story. Are you thinking of like that, like very hardcore, like thriller <laughs> documentary type? One? Yeah, maybe. Where it's like I am the captain now. No, like, no, no, me, no, 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 no. Uh, I thought this was a. I thought this was a true story yeah, was... on. That guy that does a lot of the filming, like, underwater and shit. James Cameron? James Cameron? No. No, no, no. no, no. I think I vaguely know who you're talking about, Mike. The nature guy. He does, like, nature documentaries. Is David Attenborough? <laughs> the budget too steep. Anyways, we're, 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 we're trying to decide on a movie. Let's... So which, which yeah. what are we watching, John? Well... Because it sounds like no one has seen, seen anything. anything. 
Except for oh, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, Jeff's seen all of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're all good. I'd be happy with any of them. Which of the three, Jeff, have you not seen? Or, like, have you uh, seen... Like, the oh, one I, I least remember? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Uh, the one I least remember... I, and I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, is the uh, the Aquatic Life of Steve Zissou. I, I least See, remember. That's the only one that I haven't seen. I've seen the other two, but maybe we should just do that one then. It's up to you, man. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. The Aquatic Life with Steve Zissou. Zizo? I don't know how to say it. Zissou, I think it's Zissou. This Zissou. The Aquatic this Life of Steve i always wanted to see this movie because... It has, what's it called? Very artsy. Yeah. Oh man, I hate art. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Um, you can watch it on uh, YouTube, Amazon Prime, iTunes, oh. Google Play, Video. Here we go, here we go. It's a, it's a parody and a homage to the French d d diving pioneer Jacques Cousteau. That's who I was thinking <gasps> oh, of. Oh, that's right. That's who I was thinking of. Okay. Who's that? He's a famous He's dead. diving pioneer. <laughs> yeah, whatever the hell that I just means. remember him. Whenever Finding Nemo was really popular, they used to talk a lot about Jack Cousteau. Yeah. Okay, so let's watch that movie. So watch that for yeah. next week. Uh, sorry, we got in a heated argument. There's probably lots of yelling. Probably pretty <laughs> loud. But you we know, each other now. Oh, it's this is the point of this. The whole point of this. <laughs> what I why I wanted to do movie club was it's for, to piss Mike off. No, is to have <laughs> is to have <laughs> no is is to have conversations. Really uh, have conversations and discussions about these pieces of art or whatever, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Like, I love this shit. I live for this. So, anyways. We'll see you next week. Watch The Aquatic Life of Steve. Can't pronounce this last name. With Steve. Is this so? Is this so? Is this so? Is this so? Uh, Was it with? I don't know. Say goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Everyone. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.